Okay, pretty simple here. Um, we're going to be changing the rear brakes on a 05 Toyota Solera. And we're going with the uh, Perfect Stop Wagners. That would be number PS828C. And pretty straightforward. Just need a C clamp um, to compress the piston, 14 millimeter um, socket to take off the caliper. 21 millimeter socket to take off the lugs on the tire. Pretty straightforward and just your regular standard car jack. And then there's some wedges on the front tire to keep you from rolling back. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. Pull the tire off, slide it underneath the uh, the assembly so that uh, in case something nasty happens, uh, at least it'll keep it from dropping. I don't have uh, jack stands or anything on that line. I'm just trying to keep it pretty vanilla. And now the lugs are off. All the lugs are here. Yes, this is a uh, old boogie board and I used to keep my knees happy and put all the stuff on. Took a little dab of the uh, lubricant that comes out of the brake box and uh, put a dab on those. Those are the pads. Put the pads on and then butter that all over. take the caliper off just simply take this uh, this is a number uh, 14 14 millimeter socket slides right on the back there and there's a bolt right there and then there's going to be another bolt right down here so you got these two right here and just cap it on there pull those bolts off okay there's a little uh, gasket here a little rubber gasket nothing to be worried about and uh, again, pretty vanilla. And these should come off after you uh, get them loose. They should just be able to finger them right out. Doesn't screw all the way, just tell all the threads on the tip there. And then should pull clean and free. There it goes. And the next one. And just gently pull that out. And then, voila! This whole guy goes up here. And just gently rest it up there. What we'll do is we're going to hang it there from a wire if you want to um, for a little extra safety. Just run a wire through one of these holes here and loop it up here. Just a little loose uh, loose wire there. And there we have the old pads. And these just come right out. And just work them out a little bit. And voila. Okay, and get the other one. Doesn't need to be a whole lot of pounding and banging or anything along that line. They all just kind of slide out pretty easy. These are definitely need to be replaced. See that? And this looks real nice. There's no scarring or anything else on the rotor. And so uh, we're gonna pull these off. These and these just pop off. Go get the new ones. And the new ones just slide right in. Snap those in. And you snap the other one in. Oops. Everything's pretty happy right there. Okay, new, new disc, slide it in there like that, and get the other one, the other one just slides in on the other side. Voila. Take a look at that. And the reason I didn't butter them first is because I don't like to get that crap all over my hands. Dun dun dun. And it's just where the piston rides keeps it nice and happy and 
Now we just need it. Now you just take the C clamp, put the uh, old disc right there against the piston, and then tighten up the C clamp. Drives the piston back. Okay, now we're just going to slide the caliper back on. We've driven the piston back into the caliper, and this just slides right back over. Careful those little rubber gaskets down there. Doing this one-handed here. Okay, and then you take your bolts, line them in gently, stick them in front, and you just line right back in, nice and gentle. You can thumb start them, just kind of get them finger started, and then everything should just go back together nicely there for you. Okay. Now, most of all, don't uh, forget to pump the pedal. The pedal's going to go all the way to the floor a couple times. Just give it some good pumps, and that should get piston back and everybody happy okay and then just take it for a little drive like out the driveway about a hundred yards and uh, nice and slow and then hit the brakes a few times try reverse a couple times and you're all set